Hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15, and today we've got a map review for you. This is... Oh boy, here we go. Zadupui? Maybe? <laughs> here, I'll let you look at it. You can sort of judge for yourself. Here you are. Zadupui. Although I noticed the sign here says Zadupai which I think is a pie made with horseradishes and beets, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this is it. We're looking at Zidupui version 3.2. And this is another, uh, I believe, uh, Polish region type map. So here we go. This is, uh, we spawned right there, so we haven't missed anything so far. I did push this trailer out here. Now, although I do have animation map trigger loaded, one thing I found rather odd that trailer was in here, and um, there doesn't seem to be any way to open the doors. Now, there is another door opening um, script, not animation map trigger, but uh, I don't know that it's really in use anymore, and I'm not sure that these doors function anyway. Um, hmm. The odd thing is even though I can't actually get in there. If I'm on a tractor or something similar, I can. So, yeah. Um, here's your pit for your cows, as you can see. Silage pit, that is, of course. Your cow barn. And again, you can't walk through, but on a vehicle, you can drive through here. So I'm thinking that there's probably... The, the mods required are not mentioned in the description. So let's... Uh, do we have money? We got lots of money. Let's grab ourselves a quick tractor here. Select. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Ooh, Bure. I haven't had one of those in a while. Okay. Back. Now, it doesn't appear here, so let's check this out while we're here, shall we? Here's our overview. Makes no sense. All right, standard crops right down the line, as you can see. Um, as far as animals go, uh, cows and chickens only. There are no sheep. So, um, here we go. We have biogas plant, obviously takes silage. We have the biomass plant, which takes wood chips. Nobody's paying big money by the look of it, boy. Uh, wheat and barley can go to the browar. Uh, what else we got here? Sugar beets out to the cucronia, which is probably means sugar beet. Uh, here's another grain at the grain elevator, oddly enough. Corn and potatoes. Hmm, that's a different. Yeah, what do you know? Corn and potatoes. I don't know, maybe they make like a soup restaurant or something. <laughs> okay, here's our actual map. Um, kind of an odd looking duck, isn't it? But it does have pretty much everything that one requires. It's got a lot of fields of which we own. Here we go. Uh, where are we here? Ah, field 16, way over there, and, and we go to crops, oh, that's field 46, actually. Well, that appears to actually be the only field we own, is field 46, and near as I can tell, it's covered in grass. There's one field in wheat, but it doesn't look like, oh, maybe we do. Let's see, can I actually see a number? I can't quite, it looks like maybe that's field one, possibly. And it looks like we own field two as well. A little hard to make out, but there you go. So, as for vehicles, yeah, they do give you quite a bit. Um, although a lot of this is simply, yeah, these are, that one came with it, but uh, that one came with it. This I bought, this I bought, and this I bought, just to mark spots for us. So, we've been through that. You can see I did buy some chickens and some cows just so we could see them. And that, as they say, is that. So, your cluck, 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 chick, 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 are in here. Hello, ladies. And they haven't yet laid any eggs. I don't know if they're sort of random type chickens or, ooh, gold coin. So there are gold coins in the game, in case you were wondering. Yeah, I don't know if they're random layers or if they'll pick a specific spot. But uh, there you go. There's your chickens. Now, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to reset uh, a tractor. In specifically this one. That's not what I wanted to do, man. I wanted to reset it, yes. Okay. 
<laughs> now I'm stuck out here at the store, which, uh, in case you're wondering on the map, is right there. Now, let's uh, find that particular tractor. You're not him, you're not him, you're not him. You're not him, you're not, you're not. Neither are you. Oh, yes, you were. Darn. Oh, well, it's right there. Okay, now that we're in a tractor... See, I can actually go in here. Here's your uh, grain tip. Oops, try not to do that. Or at least near as I can tell, that's your grain tip. See, now it's the same thing with these. There's was machinery in pretty much all of these. That's where I got most of the stuff. Like I say, vehicles will actually go right through it. But, uh, yeah, you can't walk through them. That makes me think there is, and there's a bit of an oddity on the, the ground on that particular garage slot. Yeah, as I say, that makes me wonder if there's perhaps some other opening system that should be in place, but as I said, there was no mention of what mods were needed, and I may not have it in my uh, current collection, because I think it's an older one that very few people use. And here we go again. This is the cattle barn. Uh, these are not the cows I bought, but this is where you would, of course, uh, zump your straw and your food. And again, you can't walk through the doors, but you can certainly drive a tractor through yeah, um, a little different. Where? That's something I didn't notice. Now, there is a manure pit over there, but I didn't see an actual milking machine. You can see, there's your silage pit. Yeah, there's the cows are off in the background there. Here's where we can pick up our slurry. Here's where we can pick up our manure. Hmm. But, like I said, I don't actually see where the uh, milking machine might be. So I would assume it would be automated. That they would simply sell the milk at midnight. Because there's really nowhere to pick it up. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so here's fields 1, 2, and 3. And there's... Oops. That couldn't have been worse. Um, yeah laid out in long strips. I'm sorry, I can't get any angle on that with the buildings behind me. So there you go. And this one we do own, which is currently, well, growing something that's not going to be ready for a couple of days. So, so that's our cattle, that's our chickens. If we trundle off down the highway. Whoops. <laughs> I almost hit something. The detailing is fairly nice. You know. Um, does that say pies? Oh, no, it doesn't. I guess it's just some sort of a bus service. Uh, Alright, here we go. We have a sail point here. Or a tip point, I should say. For potatoes. Potatoes. Ooh, I gotta go up here. Cool. Any coins? <laughs> You're like, no. And, hmm, I'm not sure. That almost looks like grain, but I don't see how any way we could get it in there. And we can sell our eggs. Nice. Alright. So, what else have we got that's close by? Uh... I think I probably have vehicles pretty much everywhere else. All right, so here's where we end up selling our sugar beets. And it is, as you can see, way up here. This is this Cucronia, which we discovered was, in fact, where we sell our sugar beets. Uh, where are you, Cucronia? There you are, Cucronia. Cucronia. Okay. Sugar beets. I'm sure that's what it means. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, it's got one of these neat, uh, loop-de-loops. You know, you bring your 
huge truck full of sugar beets all the way around the best race car track in the whole place of course there's tractor <laughs> slides completely off the road missing a corner and losing the entire effect there we go now you've done it um, yeah. hmm? Hmm? yes slow down chuckles <laughs> all right So that, and again, you can see there's quite the layout to the fields. Um, let's have a look at some pricing here. We've got one fairly reasonably small field, a couple hectares or whatever, maybe a little bigger than that. Uh, one and a half, 75k, wow. Does that seem a little high? I mean, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe land's expensive out here, but that just seems a bit uppy, man. 1.6 for 80k. And what the heck was this one for 70? 10k less for how much? 1.5. Wow. Okay. So I guess there's like a base price and then 10k for every uh, half acre above. Hmm. But that lets us know. Always nice to have a sort of an idea. It appears that most of the trees are uh, paint-ins, which is okay, I mean that, uh, here's our shop of course, that I think probably uh, helps a lot when it comes to uh, how well things run, and this map seems to run really well, so if you guys are looking for something that even uh, creepy equipment like mine seems to run well, well, here you go, you could probably not do worse. I would assume this is a garden center because right here we can of course buy pallets of seedlings yes indeed who could ask for anything more and if we look we'll see that we are there indeed the grain elevator which is that thing behind my tractor and the garden center where we can get water and seeds and fertilizers and all of that happy snappy stuff cool all right Let's go back to the iPad, <laughs> and um, let's go have a look at a forestry area. Now this is not where you sell logs, but this is what a forested area is like around here. And it's pretty well done. So all of these trees, of course, you can knock down, cut up, and uh, dispose of. There is timber sale and wood chip sale on the map. And I believe the timber sale, all you have to do is drive across the, uh, drive across the tip point. So you don't have to worry about trying to unload logs and drag an extra gear up to get them off the trailer and all of that stuff. It is all done. So as I say, pretty nice. The little forested areas work well. You know? They're not super, super dense, so you'll actually have room to work with your trees once you knock them over. Which I think is pretty nice. You know, a lot of these forest ones, they're just, well, oh, those ones by the rocks might be a bit tough. But yeah, I've noticed on a lot of maps, it seems the forestry is just, they pack them together, you know. And then right outside of it, now these you still have to buy, mind you. But there's some pretty decent meadows here. Hmm. 1.7 for 76 so yeah this is uh, a little cheaper I guess because it is a meadow as opposed to uh, and then you get another one here ah that's an actual finished field so I suppose you could uh, for free cut grass on this side <laughs> well there you go there's always a cheap way to do it let's jump out here now and we are now at the Browar which we discovered buys wood. It ain't the Kukroia. Here we are. Wheat and barley. So, this is where you will tip. There you are. Rowar Mockney full. Indeed, it is just full of Mockney. Um, actually, it's a, a brewery. This is where you dump those two particular grains to make brewery beers. I don't think you actually get to load or unload the beers or anything. I think it's just uh, 
See, there they got some kegs out there on a cool, eh? Yeah, I think it just simply is a tip point type of thing, a sell point. So now, as well as all that happiness, we have uh, we were just here at the Browdy. Let's go here. Here's our uh, bio heat. We can dump our wood chips here. Clunk. Ow. Uh, certainly nothing fancy going on here. This is your stock. Right off the wall, FS15 bio heat and available to everyone and everything for free. There you go. So as well as that, we have... We've been to this guy. Let's go to this guy. Here's where we sell our logs. As I said, there are both available. That was the wood chip. So right down here, down the bottom corner by field 31, we have a log sale. And apparently all you do is go ching, 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 ching. Boom. Them Duke boys, they're at it again. Oh, here's something really weird. You guys hear that? Eh, all the manhole covers, if you go near a manhole cover, you'll hear rushing water. Like I first noticed it right outside the farm and I thought, what the heck? So I walked to the next one up the street and every one of them, they make the whoosh noise of water running. I don't know, I, I, yeah. You guys should know by now the weirdest things amused me, but I thought that was really kind of a funny touch, <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, where have we not been? We've been, uh... Well, let's just go to the biogas, shall we? Can you get me turned around here, Mr. Pickup Truck? Thank you. All right. So we'll go up here and we'll visit the biogas plant, and that should pretty much cover it, guys. Okay. Is there actually an entrance? No. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, what do you know? I actually had a tractor out here waiting for us. I didn't have to bring the truck. But it's okay. It goes well with the tractor, doesn't it? <laughs> so here you go. Again, pretty much bone standard. But, you know, has everything you require. It's your digesters. It has the stock FS-15. Must use a loader. We've got uh, one, two, three, four decent size. And, uh, of course, a place here for Zapupin. There you are. You can say pretty much bone stock. Crash test dummy. Boom. <laughs> oh, look, compacting 0%. <laughs> yeah, I bet it compacted the front of that truck more than 0%, boy. All right. So here we are, back on the main farm. But, um, that's pretty much, um, no, it's not actually quite it. Here's our uh, potato and sugar beet, where we tip. What I haven't actually seen yet. There's where we can tip wood chips. Oh, I can't get back in here. I don't have a tractor. Darn. We need to leave a tractor here. Uh, let's just... Sure. Reset that, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Where are you? There you are. I always get this one because it's the same color as the car. Alright, so... Alright. Is this in fact... Ah, this may not actually be a tip point. This looks more like a fill point, actually, guys. So this is not your tip point for your green. It's your fill point. Hmm... All right. Well, now it's big mystery, huh? Now it is a big mystery. Huh. Well, that's not really what I wanted to see. I wanted to see a place to actually tip your grains. <coughs> see, obviously this is a fell point because you can come in through here with your trailer. And then, uh, yeah. It's certainly not a great to tip it next. 
Hmm. Uh, but around the side. No, it doesn't appear to be. Well, that's kind of odd, guys. I'm not sure what. Uh, That one doesn't have as much fun getting in and out of there. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's actually something odd over here in the building. Hmm. Yeah, you can't actually step over, but you can sure tell when you... Uh, and again, I can't get out of the building without my tractor. So. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's really a mystery, guys. I don't know uh, where the heck your tip point would be here. I just don't see one. You know? I mean, we've obviously got all of these elevators. And we've obviously got a place we can pick up grain. You would have thought the tip point would be in this one. Hmm. And of course, it's not. No. There's no tip point here. It's got a bunch of boards and stuff in the way. Huh. Well, that's a mystery, guys. That's something we would have to look into, or if you started playing the map, you would have to uh, try and figure out. Because it certainly doesn't present itself as being in any way obvious. I would assume and hope that this would be hay sales here. You know, where you could flog off your bales. Hmm. But, beyond that, I'm not sure. That's, uh... <coughs> Excuse me again really rather odd that there doesn't seem to be an obvious tip point for grains. It's kind of an important uh, important function on a map. But I'm sure there's some way of dealing with it. Maybe uh, we could ask this guy if we run into him. I don't know. Mockney Fall. Uh, see, that's the brewery we went to. Boy. Those are some generic looking beer can. Of course, he's a pretty generic looking beer drinker. So there's your bank. There's your help phone. And see, Zed Dupai. <laughs> I don't know why it's crossed out. But there you are. Till next time, guys. That's, uh, I think, been our look at this map anyway. And oddly enough, this is just a random bulletin board. There are no missions. So, yeah, it's odd. But there you go. So, yeah, that's been our look at the map. Uh, Zadu Pui, I guess, or Zadu Pai, if you want to read the street signs. And uh, not a bad little map. Again, I don't think I've run into anything that runs this smooth. I mean, no matter what direction I look, I get 60 frames. That's incredible. I have it locked at that, so I won't really go any higher. But, uh, wow. So, not bad there. Um, does have pretty much everything you need. There are a few nice flattish spots if you wanted to drop a few additions. You know, like I have noticed that some of the fields, you know, certainly have uh, flat enough portions to them that you would be able to do that. So, hmm. I wonder if you just dump your grains in somewhere else and they appear on the farm. I don't know. That still worries me. But there you are. That's been our look at the map, guys. Hit the old like button if you... Uh, feel you can manage that it would really help me out and uh, feel free to share and favorite but above all of course take care of each other folks this has been BC7 for farm sim 15 and another little map review for you see you all next time ciao for now